Hey guys, how are you? My name is Rodney. I got another package from Mattel and Monster High and it's the new SDDC <laughs> Gulia, and I'm so stoked to have her. I'm not going to be restyling her in this video for a few reasons, so enjoy the review. We have a really interesting doll today. So we all know that I'm the biggest Gulia Yelps fan. She's my favorite Monster High doll. And I, you know, I, I, I looked at some pictures of her a few months ago. Um, I, I briefly skimmed through them and I wasn't overly interested in this iteration of her, surprisingly. However, they emailed me the other day and offered to send her to me. So thank you Monster High and Mattel for doing so. Um, I hope that I'm gonna like her a lot more in person. This is a really big box, by the way. It's like the same size as my torso, but. Then again, everything is the same size as my first one. What? What is this? Frankie Stein. Oh my god. It's like, this is heavy. What is going on here? Ooh. See, I feel like this box is actually lighter than this box, but I gotta see what that is. That's so interesting. I wasn't expecting that. I don't know if this was an accident, but it says this diary belongs to Frankie Stein. It's like a big shoe box. What could this be? I have no idea. So it's like, that's like a big diary. Why would anyone want to read someone else's diary without asking first? Frankie, is it okay that I read your diary? Let's see what's in here. This is a really like nice high quality, like printed object. Like it feels like a product that they would actually sell. I don't know if they are selling this, but collector building sets. Huh, is it Legos? I think they might have sent me this by accident. Um, I've been building something totally voltageous in my lab lately. Want the freaky fact details? You'll have to look inside. Oh, okay, I'll do that. All right, yeah, I do want the details. Is this like the launch of a new thing or something? Oh my God, what? I have to do this. Are you kidding me? I've never built Legos before. Wow, this looks like a lot. Look at this. This is like an like this is an actual thing. Oh, oh my gosh! What is it gonna look like in the end? This is so cool. I I, I actually just started watching this guy on TikTok. He builds Legos, and I just I'm always fascinated by it. But I'm like, do I have enough patience for that? But now that I know that they come with like manuals and stuff. Oh my gosh, this is a lot. Wait a minute, I might not be able to do. I'm gonna have to hire somebody to do this. Oh wow, <gasps> that's wait. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait. Okay. Dang. Like you can even see like already. Here she is. Wait, where's her hair? Oh, I like the hair. Cool. Yeah, I'm super excited. This is so unexpected. Thank you guys so much. Like I I don't even look the bags have numbers. How cool. This is gonna be such a fun project. Like they're putting me to work. I don't know if I'm gonna do it with this video. I kind of feel like it would be a disappointment if I do, but I am a content creator, so I can always come back and do it. But Boy, am I excited to see what it looks like in the end. I love things like that where it's like a little... So I really like the idea, the fact that it's like a set for her, you know? I don't, I don't, even, what it, I don't even know what it is. I'm not looking at it too deeply, but from what I can tell, she can go inside of it. So I'm super excited and I really do want to do it. But this video is about Gulia. <clears throat> Let's see what she looks like. Oh my goodness. Excuse me if I'm mistaken, but she looks a little ethnic right here, doesn't she? She looks like a sister, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, look at this. Cool. It's like cracked. Oh man, this is insane. This feels like, I don't know. Every time I get these like packages, especially the PR ones, it's like, I don't feel deserving of it. You know, I don't feel like I deserve this. This is insane, but wow. Beautiful box, okay. Oh my gosh. Dead fast Gulia. I wonder where they came up with this. Okay, sidekick turned superhero. Yeah, because she was shy at first. She looks, she looks a little masculine right here. It might not, like, doesn't it look like a man? That's interesting. Okay, but there's her little logo up there. Look how beautifully like designed this box is. If only her hair could actually be like that. 
it's so pretty like i love the matte black with the shiny lettering i mean it's everything that i could ask for you know again this cracked glass i want to post this on instagram that'll be a cool picture a supersonic sighting caused quite the stir at necron this year the glossy fabric of her super suit that sounds really fun and cool legend has been resurrected if that's not the truth wow again thank you so much this is such a special gift i almost don't even want to open her up but i'm, I'm going to her hair is definitely not as crimped but it's super long i feel like there's so much that i gotta get through so i'm gonna go ahead and start try not to mess anything up because i like to keep these boxes and i'm guys i'm really uncultured so i don't even know if this is like an original thing or if that is like from a different character i have no idea what dead fast is i'm just Kind of rolling and, that, and that's another reason why i wasn't super interested in her to begin with oh see okay so it is okay okay so she's like fantasizing about it and oh i see what's going on here so she's a, a big fan of dead fast if i'm not mistaken somebody commented a few videos ago well i think it was a while ago because she had some sort of dead fast reference within her design somewhere but at the time i didn't really know what that was but now i think i get it to be continued yes it shall okay that's cool i'm so excited for her Okay, so I've just gone through and I've removed all the tea ties and I'm noticing such cool details like this. Look at how cool this is. She has like a little toy of dead fast. I mean, the dollception is real. Oops. I think you can actually take them out too. <gasps> There's so many things to cut. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. Nice. Look how beautiful this is. And the gradient, very beautiful. Oh my gosh, I just saw something. <laughs> so here's her stand in totality. Oh, there's like some brain tissue looking mold down there, which is really cool. I don't know what this goes to, but this fell out. It says there's a D and there's an F. But again, I don't know where it goes and a T. <laughs> She has like a little comic book, a miniature one. Very cute. Let me get a close up. Okay, so here's this little booklet up close. Brain Power, issue 13. You can see all the little details, it's so fun. So what's she doing here? Oh, she's getting her gear together. She's strapping up, locking in. That's an amazing photo of her. And then there's even a bag with like all the stickers and stuff. How cool is that? Okay, so. She also comes with her little, her own little dead fast doll or toy. It's so cool. But here he is. <gasps> look at him. Oh, wow. Look at the glasses on him. Is this her necklace? I don't know what this is. I think it's like a MP3 player, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. It was, it was attached to her hand in the box, but, but the way that it's structured, it looks like it's supposed to be some kind of necklace, but I, I'm not sure. Oh, look, her little logo there. A lot of this stuff is really tiny, like, but I love it. And here is the doll. <laughs> wow. She feels like, like everything on her feels like really smooth and soft and like silky. It's so weird. And even her hair is super soft to the touch. I don't have a crimper, so I might have to buy one before I put this video out. But I kind of just want to review it. So that way you guys can get your bearings on whether or not you want to buy her. I don't know when she's going to be available. You know what? This is actually the first like PR package that didn't come with like one of those little PR disclaimer papers. I need it. <laughs> the one time that I actually need it, they didn't send it. But um, I don't know when this doll releases. I'm going to find out uh, in post. And I'm going to put the price and everything on the screen here. Um, but for now, look how beautiful her hair is. You guys know, again, Ghoulie is my favorite character. I love the black. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? I didn't know that they had given her black hair. Wow. It's so soft. Obviously, I'm sure she's, she's a higher priced doll. So they inevitably gave her saran hair. And I just love it. I mean, I think it's fantastic. I like the length of it. I love the colors. 
honestly, guys, I want to straighten it. Oh, I, I, I know, I know, I know. Hell. I feel bad. I like this. I like the style of it. I don't think I'm going to give her a restyle, to be honest. I don't know. I feel like I want to be able to enjoy it a little bit more. Like, I like the look of the crimps and stuff, but obviously it's not fully crimped in all areas. So it's either that or straighten it. <laughs> it's either recrimp it or straighten it. But I mean, I like it the way that it is. It doesn't have any gel or glue or anything. I mean, it, it's that her hair is perfect as it is <laughs> out of the box. And I like the braid a lot. I, I mean, I don't know how to replicate that. So I want to leave it in there. <laughs> That's so pretty. Oh my God. I'm so nervous to look at her face, but already I can tell that I loved her black lipstick. Any doll with like, or any person with black lipstick who can pull it off, they always intrigue me and, oh, this is undone. She has a, a lot of little pieces, which I can always admire because I love dolls that just have a lot to look at. And she is no exception to that. And I'm so happy that they didn't cop out. Oh my gosh, the more I look at her and the more I hold her, the more I'm falling in love. Again, I didn't look at all of these details prior. I do like that the earrings are black. Normally they're like green, I believe. Before we look at the rest of her outfit, let's look at her face. Whoa, these glasses are way more complex than I thought. Wait, this is hard. Why did they do that? Okay, so she does have a side part. And I just noticed actually that her hair is the same color as G3 Gulia's hair. I'm gonna get some dolls here in a second, hold on. So as you can see here, her hair closely resembles G3 Gulia's hair. And this is an original, well, it's a reproduction of Gulia. These are the color differences. Which one do you like the best? For me, it's still G3. So let's look, let's have a look at this girl's face. Um, nah, it doesn't do it for me, unfortunately. And I normally like like diva looking dolls, like when they have strong arches in their eyebrows and they look a little less friendly. I normally like that, but for some reason with this Gulia in particular, it doesn't all the way do it for me, oops. Which is okay though, because she has her glasses, which I really like, and I'm probably gonna keep them on her. I don't know, I don't think that I'll keep her glasses off. And that's a little unfortunate, because I love Gulia, but this face still remains the best for me. Like, look look at the difference. Like, even with like the glitter and stuff, it's perfect. Okay, so yeah, that's her head. <laughs> so let's move on to her outfit. So like, she has this really cool chrome, like red collar it's like what is it electromagnetic plated <laughs> electro plated or <laughs> something like that it's really beautiful and she also has the, this like cage around her chest it goes really well with the rest of her outfit and i think it separates the pieces a lot better like than it would have if it wasn't there what's this oh my gosh these are like some kind of sleeves or something nope they're sewn it's sewn to the shirt and look at the stitch work there's some red on the underside no words or anything and here are her hands with the gloves. Very simple, nothing on the underside. But I like how colorful she is. Like they really played a lot with the blues and reds and greens. And it's like a lime green too in person. Oh look, I just noticed that DF, how cute is that? Here's the dead fast belt. Oh, it's not even all the way on her so you can like easily remove it. Okay, well here, here's how she looks without the belt. Ooh, I kind of like that. That's, yeah, that, yeah, that's cute. I like I like without the belt. That, that's so adorable. Wow. Okay, so here are her shoes, which I noticed this when I opened her out of the box. I'm like, whoa, there's no way the back of her heels are the freaking action figure itself. So you get, you get like three of these action figures. <laughs> this one is super duper tiny. And look at the painted details. I love things like that. And the wings. Ooh. This looks like a like some you know those couches like those luxurious couches. There's nothing in the bag and it's attached to her arm like that, and that's pretty much it. I'm like I don't really want to do anything with her hair to be honest with you because I love the style of it, and I don't want to ruin the crimps. I don't want to ruin the crimps and I don't have a crimper, so I'm like maybe I'll just upload this video for you guys and I don't know leave her as is. I do really like how it is because it's like. It's like textured hair, you know, kind of like my hair a little bit. So I kind of want to keep it like this. Um, it's either that or like wait a few days to upload this video and buy the crimper or straighten everything and put it in this video. But I feel like that kind of, that kind of takes away from the beauty of this particular doll and the theme of her and everything. She's very thematical. So I would really hate to remove any elements of her theme away from her. Yeah, for now, I think I'm just gonna keep her like this, guys. Let me know if you wanna see like a restyle or me washing her hair or whatever, but 
I just wanted to do a, a quick review because I know a lot of people are interested in her. Um, unfortunately, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of her face, but again, she comes with these awesome glasses that I'm gonna pro probably put over her face anyway. So yeah, but like I said, I love her hairstyle. The hair is super soft. Her outfit is super soft and sleek. And I love all the little details. I mean, it really came out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting this. And again, thank you Monster High and Mattel for sending her to me. I am a huge fan of Gulia. So they know, they know they have to do her right every time. And they, I think that they definitely did her, I think for the most part, they did her justice this time. The only thing, the only thing that I would really change, honestly, is like the face, but everything else is perfect. Let me see what she looks like on her stand. Raise that a little bit. Yes, she's gonna be so cool next to all of the other Ghoulias that I have. So yeah, this is gonna be a little bit of a different video, but so far, like I said, I'm just really happy with her and I'm, I'm, I can't wait to get this out for you guys to see her. I mean, you can see like by the minute her hair, it looks better and better. Actually, I think I'll leave it like this, you know? It's like, why not? You know, I never leave the doll's hair as it is out of the box. Okay, I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie, but let's just see. Ooh, okay. I think I like it brushed. It looks smoother. Wow, it's almost like a, like an afro kind of texture. It's so cool and amazing. Like, And I really like her glasses sitting up like this. Like in person, she looks like she's a little more ethnic. <laughs> like, And not even just because of the hair texture, like because of the art in the box. And her actual face, she looks a little more, I don't know. But yeah, she's so cool. Again, I'm super thankful. And I hope that you guys like her when you get her. Yeah, this is an amazing gift. Thank you guys so much for watching. And let me know how you feel about this doll. Let me know if you're planning on getting her. And if you are, if you're planning on like restyling her or anything like that, let me know. But for now, I, that'll be it for this video. I know this is really weird, but I mean, first time for everything, right? But yes, my review. And I hope that I'll see you again soon with her. I might, I might eventually decide to give her a restyle. But yeah, my next video, I, I never know what my next video is going to be. I try to make plans for them and everything, but it's hard when you're like living with other people because I like to do the ASMR videos, but um, I haven't had a chance to do that. But right now would be a perfect time for an ASMR video because the house is like so quiet, but I had to film this video, but it's okay. So yeah, again, I really love her and I hope that you guys do too. And um, yeah, I kind of ruined, like, it's not shiny anymore, so I definitely ruined that, but whatever. Alrighty, thank you, love you, bye.